Time to bounce around some more topics. We call it face off. Many questioned what would happen to Iowa women's basketball attendance once Caitlin Clark was gone. Right. Well, Iowa just announced the entire season is sold out. That's pretty impressive. It shows Clark's unique power. Before she arrived at Iowa, the Hawkeyes did not have sold out games, let alone an entire season of them. By her senior year, every game home and away sold out. And as you noted, she's gone from Iowa, but the sellouts continue. Now this can happen in the WNBA too. Clark games are all sold out and highly rated. And many of those new fans will be hooked even when she's not playing if the WNBA can just get out of its own way. If. UNLV starting quarterback Matt Sluka is redshirting after playing just three games. He's not injured. Sluka <laughs> says he was promised $100,000 from UNLV to transfer in, but has only received $3,000. Sluka will transfer again. <laughs> though I'm not sure many coaches want a quarterback who quit on his undefeated team, whatever the circumstances. Yeah, look, I'm all for players getting a little piece of the pie in collegiate sports when it comes to money. I am, but this is the part that sucks. Sluka was only at UNLV because of money, period, and UNLV made a promise it apparently couldn't cash. The NCAA, NCAA let this get so far out of hand to where a starting quarterback of a top 25 team quits and transfers midseason because of money. Mm. It's ridiculous. Uh, former Cyclone Bridget Carlton is having the best season of her WNBA career. Starter, clutch shooter, 10 points, 4 rebounds per game. Lynx in the semifinals. Had 17 points in game one, but the Lynx lost to the Sun. Bridget always plays with joy. Great to see her having this breakthrough season. Yep. With a staggering, not even sure how they did it, 121 losses, the Chicago White Sox are now the worst team in modern Major League Baseball history. It really is incredible. To be that bad in baseball takes a lot of work, or maybe not a lot of work. Not sure which it is. Regardless, the White Sox broke a 62-year-old record by one loss. Congrats, you made history. And they're not actually the worst White Sox team. That <laughs> distinction goes to the 1919 White Sox, and that team went to the World Series. And threw it.